Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you six useful tips that you can do on your calculator. So let's just get to the first one. Okay, the first tip I have for you guys is converting from hours to hours, minutes and seconds. So for example, if I had 2.5 hours, I can click this button right here and then click equals and it gives me 2 hours, 30 minutes and 0 seconds. Now I can do the exact same thing with other numbers, so 3.4 for example and then click this and then click equals and I get 3 hours 24 minutes and 0 seconds. I can actually do this the other way around as well. So what I can do is I can write 3, click this and 24 and click this. I can now click equals and I get the same thing but then if I click S to D twice I get back to 3.4. This can be really useful so for example if you had 20.005 hours uh, what I can do now is I can click this button right here click equals and it gives me 20 hours 3 minutes and 0 seconds tip number two is working out the quadratic equation through the calculator and it's actually really useful because you don't have to write in your minus b plus or minus all of that you can literally just sub in your values and you get your answer in seconds so what you have to do is you click mode setup right here then you click 5 which is the equation tab and then you click 3 which is the quadratic equation in particular so you get given this table right here and if we have a specific quadratic so for example this 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. This here, this coefficient would be the a, this would be the b, and this minus 2 over here would be the c. So if it's minus, you have to make sure that you include that as well. So what we do now is we write these values into our calculator. So we write our 3 into the a, click equals, then we write our plus 4, so we just write our 4 into that, then we write our minus 2 into that. And then we get given this, if we click equals, we then get given our first one, which is that. We can actually use S to D to get the decimal, and then we click equals again, and we get our second one, just like that, in seconds. And then remember to make sure to... Sometimes you may be given equations like these, so y equals 8 minus 2x, and they give you a table of values where you have to complete the y terms. Now, this is quite easy, but it can take a bit of time, especially if the table is quite long. So what we can do is we can go get our calculator out, and we can actually do it much faster. So if you click mode setup right here, and then we click 7, which is table, right there, we get given fx equals, and we can now write in our equation, so the one right up here, you can write that in, so 8 minus 2x, to get x you click alpha, and then you look for the x right here, and then we can click equals, and now it says start, so where do we want to start, so over here, we want to start at minus 1, so we can write that in, so we can put minus 1, um, and then end, in this case, we want to end at 2, but whatever your ending number is, you'll write that in. So we can write 2 in here, click equals, uh, and now it's a step. So we can see that ours is going up by 1, so we can just click equals for this, and we get our table right here. So for our x being minus 1, we get 10. For our x being 2, we get 8. For our x being 3, we get 6. And we can literally just write these numbers down into our thing and just like that we got our answers and oh wait a minute um yeah here's our fourth one uh i forgot about this one uh when x equals two you get y equals four and just like that really easy and simple and straightforward. The answer key at the bottom of the calculator is very useful for a lot of things but when we have a really big question it can get very hectic really quickly. So a really nice thing to do is to store different values for later. So for example if we had some random equation or whatever we had this number 622 we can store this for later by clicking shift right here and then clicking STO right here and then we can click on either any of these letters here so you can see ABC we can click on A for example and you can see the answer has been transferred to a so now if we needed to use oh if we ever needed to use it we can do 3 plus alpha a and this will do 3 plus 622 which simplifying fractions is really annoying but the calculator can do it really really fast all you have to do is give in your fractions so for example 69 over 420 
and then we can click equals and look at that it's already converted to as simple as it can be and we can also if we click s to d right here we can see the decimal form it's that easy if we have a fraction such as this right here what we can do is we can literally just click shift right here well first we have to click equals to get our proper um, answer right here and then we can click shift and then we can click this button right here and we get given it as a mixed number and we can do it the other way around as well so if you click five and then click shift and this button over here we can actually write in a mix number right like that and then we can click equals and you can see it gives us our improper fraction just like that nice and easily